two minutes in and it's already a mess. Um, so this is my friend Vicky. We've known each other. How long have we known each other? It's been a really long time. Since like 2011. Seven years? Six, seven years? Yeah, six, seven years. Probably mm -hmm. more than that. Um, because I joined Mavella's, I don't know, probably in 2013 or something. Um, I, I think I joined the same year. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's been a really long time. It's been about a decade. Yes. Um, we've been mates for quite a while. I see you every year at, um, at Comic-Con. You gave me a weird look. I'm not entirely sure what that was about. <laughs> um, <laughs> Six to seven years went to ten. I was like, that's not how maths works. <laughs> time is relative. Um... <laughs> Yeah, my, my everyone has the same reaction to as well vegetables. That. Yeah, um, so I've known known you for quite a while. I see you every year at Comic Con, uh, which yeah. is sad because I probably won't see you this year at Comic Con if we're being real. <laughs> Rona season really has killed our vibe here. Um, but yeah, you used to feature in every single one of my vlogs and on my Instagram page. You brought to my attention an artist named Heli Love, mm -hmm. um, who, well, tell her, a little, tell us a little bit about her because I don't know anything about music or I, I'm not cultured at all. Um, and you are slightly more cultured. You you like uh, you like your K-pop. You like your music that's from other countries, and you you really enjoy a dancing over here. Um, and also, if you want to shill any of your Insta stuff, please feel free to. Um, <laughs> she she does she's a really good dancer. She does Blake choreography. Shut um, up! Shut up! I <laughs> I watch all of them and I like. I will all punch of them. you. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm complimenting you. <laughs> no. Take my love. <laughs> you 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 can feel that emotion. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Just anyone who I give my love to, that's their reaction. <laughs> my whole family, all of my old friends. Okay, right. So Let's tell go. us a little bit about Heli Love, because you brought her to my attention. You were like, yes. Faye, why don't you know anything about her? Like, why? Why don't you know anything? Thought, like, you, were, you, you do you this whole... Her. And I, I really don't. And I, th I think that loads of people, I've never even heard of her. And the thing is, Ray, I've been doing this. So you, you're aware of my activism, at least borderline. I think everybody's kind of, it's in the periphery, but they're like, yeah, Faye's doing something weird over there. Um, but I do my activism and I, I talk a lot about Iran and Saudi Arabia and all of that stuff. And ISIS particularly, <laughs> we talk a lot about our girl ISIS. Um, um, but uh yeah i've never heard of this woman and when you first brought her to my attention i was like why don't i know about this and then it occurred to me that oh wait maybe a lot of people don't know about her so yeah. i want to bring her because she's a creator she's a, a musical artist she she does her songs and stuff and we do have a few of those in our community as well we have um our girl shelly who does music around this kind of stuff um but i've never heard of this particular artist so tell us a little bit about her okay so, Heli Love, I totally didn't just Google that she's 31. She is from Kurdistan mm -hmm. and she is one of ISIS's, we'll go with that, most wanted women because all of the music, she's released about six music videos, but only two, which is Revolution and Risk It All are the most known. 
they basically talk about fighting for hope and freedom for the people in Kurdistan from ISIS. Mm. So Risk It All, which is, I think, my favorite video of hers, mm -hmm. uh, she went to a uh, to an active battleground and decided to shoot the music video. There's no actors. Everything in it is real. Right. Um, so she basically fired a tank at ISIS on the front line in heels, flaming red hair, and is an incredible badass goddess. God goddess. So this song that you're talking about, Heli Love, um, so she has quite a few from what mm. I can see. Uh, she's got, we're just going through the roster here. She's got Boy Bye, she's got Mintu Navi, uh, Revolution, Risk It All. So we're going to have a look at Risk It All um, just to see what the music is like. So this was actually filmed on a battleground. Mm. Like, everything you see, although it does look like actors, none of that is fake. Because I think it was either at the end of Risk It All or Revolution, you can hear and like hear some of the actual fighting going on in the background, and she did talk about it. We're right now behind the scenes of Revolution music video, and we're about three kilometers away from ISIS, and yeah, it's it's pretty. It's pretty, um... Shit! She's a badass! Why does no one know about this woman? Okay, okay uh, just so you're not sitting in the background listening to nothing, um, I'm going to listen to that later, I promise. But she, she's everything. Mm -hmm. I'm so confused <laughs> as to why no one knows her. I know, it's brilliant. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of us creatives, we love to like bitch about how all the music's gone to shit, all the books have gone to shit, all the movies have gone to shit. But like then this misses our, like this misses our like, a complete vision. It, I, I'm like a little lost as to why no one's talking about this, especially if she's on a wanted list by ISIS, which has been the biggest threat, barring coronavirus, of the decade of the of of, of like since two thousand. Well, it's a bit shamelessly promote one OK Rock. Um, they're great too. I don't know if you'd like them. Not the point. Mm -hmm. um, basically, they some artists don't necessarily like massively promote themselves. Mm -hmm. Like some groups, just they don't really go on TV. They don't really do a lot of social media stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm pretty sure she's probably one of those types of artists where it's a bit like, yeah, I do this stuff, but. I don't want to actively approach yeah. it and but look that's, like I'm doing it for attention. That's, yeah, that's something I can respect as well. Like being able to let your work speak for you rather than needing to promote it. Mm. Um, that's but I also kind of think dance she took. That, but I, really I really want to promote her. I think she's, she's bomb. Oh, it's hard to actually describe it because when i first watched some of the two videos mm. um i was like what do i make of this and then i just broke the replay button i think that's going to be me for a while <laughs> after this um but as aside from that she's made it seems like she's made quite a few protest songs um mm. most of them are because Hang on, let me just get it up on a different tab. Yes, yeah, so... I, I can technology. I can't. 
I think also because she's not like a like a Western、um, artist, she doesn't get as much publicity as she should.、Mm. Um, so there's that. There's it's usually、um, artists that are from like what area would you describe it as? Western.、Mm. No, 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 Eastern. no. East, Middle Eastern. Middle like, Eastern, is that right? Well, like Arab artists. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't tend to get a lot of promotion because people are like, they're all ISIS, and we're all like, no, they're not. I think also a, a, quite a few people from that background are not、um, the most willing to share their work because it's. Also,、mm. kind of shameful in their cultures for women to be like singing and dancing and all of that.、Um, so yeah, there is and then kind of Helly Love just walks out. Well, I'm not too sure. Red hair. I'm not. Yeah, you got to respect a flaming red hair look.、Um, but I'm not too sure what the like what the social consequences would for her would be as someone from Kurdistan or as、mm. a Kurd. Because I'm I'm not too aware of that culture, but I do know that、um, I'm aware, like I'm that aware of some like had some death threats. Makes sense. Yeah, I was about to say that's kind of an obvious one. Makes, there it makes sense. I mean, it's horrible, but it makes sense.、Um, but I I was aware of I've none comes to mind right now. But when I was in school, because I went to school with a lot of Arabs, I went to an Islamic school. Is there、I、anything? Think you blew his bit. Yeah. So, give us give us the lowdown. Like, how did you find out about Helly Love? And like, you've told us why you want to promote this woman. I desperately want to promote her because she seems like a total badass. She definitely needs more publicity.、Mm. And、um, I mean,、yeah. if she's watching this, and I don't, I really don't know if she would be because my channel is not that big. I would love to have her on、um, to promote her、uh, to this community、mm. who would really benefit from her style of music. Um, and the kind of message she spreads,、uh, but yeah, give us give us the give us the deets. Like, how did you come upon her? What? Where is she available? How? Like, what social media platforms is she on?、Um, and yeah, like the wonderful Gen Z that I am,、mm. I found out about her on TikTok. <laughs> But no, this is not sponsored by TikTok. This is not. This is not Wait, sponsored by TikTok. It wasn't her account, but it was someone. Basically, what I've just done, saying she is so badass and she is one of ISIS' most wanted, and she's done all this amazing stuff. Please go and support her.、Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh okay, why not? I have nothing to do.、Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let's go give it a listen. It's probably something good. Was absolutely utterly blown away.、Mm -hmm. And now I have not shut up about her since. You can't.、Um, you, I'm not going to shut up to about social her. Social media. She does have Instagram with 1.6 million followers. Okay, sick. I'm going to、oh. see if I can go and follow her now. Is it just under Helly Love? Yeah, it should. Because my mirror's full it that way. Oh, she's verified. You'd、That's、hope、good. so. Yeah, I, I was kind of, I was kind of wondering if she wouldn't be because she doesn't seem that widely known, especially in because the community that I'm in, this is all, almost always all we talk about. You know, like、um, What, we're constantly verification. No, not verification, but like activism.、Um, So you'd think that we'd know about it. So I'm actually quite glad that she's at least verified. Is she on Twitter? Do you know? Oh, let's find out. Time to go to my Twitter, which is a rather whole experiment. <laughs> Fun experiment.、Uh, she's an actress as well and an entrepreneur. I'm listening.、Uh, yes, she is on Twitter, but not verified. Yeah, I、like、kind of expected that.、Uh, um, but accounts but、yeah. related. Uh, well, can't find them. 
I've just screen recorded all of that. So go and follow her on everything. Um, because I, 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 I'm just baffled. <laughs> I'm truly, truly baffled. I would have thought you'd be all over this. I was, I thought That's you'd be what, like, look at this yeah. amazing person. Look at all the great stuff she's done. I don't blame and this is kind of why like I didn't want to make it like oh this was my idea like I totally knew about her guys no I wanted to bring you on and have you talk about her because I didn't know anything about her um and you know thank you for opening my eyes to this because I would not have known about her until you told me about her um, you open your eyes because you're blind like me mm-hmm. sorry mm-hmm. not needed but you're getting it you're getting roasted um, support Heli Love, follow Heli Love, and if you want those series that we mentioned in this video, <laughs> please let us I know. I really hope you don't. Oh, they will. My my audience, the, my audience is, comes from like so many streams now that um they they always want whatever because they're always just down to hang out. Um, but it would be fun. It would be fun to have you more on the channel. Um, and to be fair, it would be nice for someone other than Simon to be part of my crew because he's feeling like a massive third wheel in um in in our group chat um because we're just constantly like bantering about like ex-muslim stuff and he doesn't understand any of it um <laughs> it would be nice but also let me know if you want to be part of that group chat we have a group chat going and it's fun uh we got a lot of memes we're creating a subreddit we got a lot of stuff coming memes um yeah, but uh, this Pink is the thing. You might not, humor. you might not understand any of the memes because they're all like Islam related. <laughs> but you can spice it up because you, you and Simon are one of the normies. Um, so <laughs> I don't think you can refer to the two of us as normal. No, I can't. But in our, in the context of our group chat, you would be considered normies. You're the only two white people in our group chat. <laughs> You would be. Simon currently is the token <laughs> white person. <laughs> That's twice you've killed me now. <laughs> See, I don't know why I can't be funny on camera when I can clearly make people laugh in person. <laughs> Okay, to close out this video, why don't you shill your Instagram pages? So you have a main one and you have a choreography yeah, one, right? If you want to. But if you don't want to shill your stuff, I'll leave like your um, ads and things. In, oh, I forgot we um, were talking about that. <laughs> on the screen. Yeah, that's what where this started. This is what happens when we when you put two of us in a room. Comes out. So it's recording now. So just say a bunch of nonsense. You. <laughs> You berate me for cutting up my book. Why would you cut up a book? That tree had so much life to live and it was put into a book that you could learn from, but no, you just had to go and go <laughs> with it and just defamate it and destroy it. Think of all the money that you spent in that thing. You're never going to get back because you can't sell it or do anything with it because you've just ruined it. I didn't spend any money on my books because my uni sends me my books. I just pay, I just pay. Oh, go for it then. If you don't pay for it, just pay it. <laughs> I don't care. It has, it has babies now. It's it's left the nest. <laughs> the Is chapters have left the nest. <laughs> <laughs> like, this was about a hundred quid if you were to, if you were. That's um, not a hundred quid. There's no way that's a hundred quid. It was about 70. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I would not cut up a book if it was seven quid to buy. No. I mean, I would. I'm pretty volatile in that way. But you... Wait, wait. So for a year, you're paying 9000 and then on top of that, you have to buy the books? 9250 plus accommodation plus textbooks. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, I know I don't have an actual campus and I'm not attending actual lectures, but I'm paying maybe... 6,000 in tuition each year and they send me all the books and it's free um, <laughs> and I have Please online resources <laughs> and oh, yeah, my... I don't go to the library uh, neither do I <clears throat> my library my library is in Milton Keynes because uh... <laughs> that's where the actual campus is but, I go past um... Milton Keynes to get home huh? I go past Milton Keynes to get home. 
Yeah, it's a really dead. Not from, it's a, it's like. a really dead area. I went to my campus once because they they needed no, like a, they had like a students uh, kind of get together, and we went to a pub, and their beers are like two pounds. Oh yeah, everything's really cheap up there. Everything is so cheap in London. A beer is minimum like four fifty, mm. mm. and that's like in a SU really cheap place. Go to the SU and gin, double gin and tonic to ATP. <laughs> they don't care, they just get you drunk. <laughs> but like any time I dress up to go to a club, which is not often, uh, I get them for free anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> people just buy me drinks. Um, okay, let me stop. Stop, so I don't know about you. Um, well I've got I've got a two camera setup thing going on. Um, so there's that. Ooh, that's <laughs> yeah. that. Fancy. Um, <laughs> no, that was definitely not it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, oh, it's finally started converting the Zoom conversation. But anyway, we're here now. Um, I don't know how to get rid of this. It's on my screen. Um, go away. so many technical difficulties. Why? Why are we having so many technical difficulties? Um, I'm in the video and I tore your young self apart. Yep. Yep. <laughs> there's just gonna be, there's just gonna be a video where I get you, Simon, and a few others from the Mavellas community to just react to my videos and just roast me for like 40 minutes. Oh, sign me up. I will. Um, 8 a.m. Thursday, let's go. I mean, I, I've got two running series at the moment, and um, I was thinking of starting another series after my f current Friday series where I'm reading out letters from my ex. Um, once that is over, because that is, that's not a bottomless pit, it does have an end, uh, for those of you who are w wondering, because <laughs> um, it's not ongoing. Uh, I was wondering if I should... Do, do you remember of, uh, like, that massive drama that we had in Mavellas with... That's a bit vague. Miss... Huh? A bit vague, you need to narrow there's it a, down. There's a lot of drama in Mavellas, wasn't there? <laughs> um, but there was, one, there was one particularly massive drama with a certain user who pretended to be other people. Oh, I thought you were dead. That too. <laughs> Same person. Oh, okay. <laughs> Out of context, this is gonna sound so bad. So, I wanted to do a series around that, but one of my so slightly newer friends, Saf, who you have to meet, she's wonderful. Um, I wanted her to react to it because she just could not believe that there was so much drama in a writer's community. Um, <laughs> And it's it's a little crazy when you think about it. it there, there's so much there was so much drama in novellas. But what mm. I want to bring you on for is to help me read our role plays. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you know what? I read them and they still hold water. I still think that they're great. Um, because I'm I, busy. I, I, I'm busy. I do. I'm busy every day of the week. <laughs> I do a show every Sunday where I read like some of my better work. Um, so I'm reading Fork Road at the moment, like I'm going from beginning to end. Um, and that's one of my better stories, but it would also be nice to have some cringe material to read. <laughs> Cause I can't, I can't do that by myself. You wrote some of the chapters, so. <laughs> yeah, <we're fine. laughs> You don't want to do that? Okay, well if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'm busy. I'll, find, I'll find somebody else and then I'll link it to you and you can have a little giggle at yourself. Um, but that's why I'm doing it, it's like you just have a little I'm giggle. Roasting everyone. If we're roasting everyone, I'm so down for that. Yeah, we're roasting everyone. We had a... Vicky, we had a whole oh, family wait, on I can the roast my year eight self. You were very young. <laughs> <laughs> but um you you had a very particular <laughs> image that you wanted to show everybody um and you, honestly i was living for it like you you were probably we so 
I really don't want to have to explain this right now, but we had a whole family on Mavellas. We had a we had a family on Mavellas. <laughs> Um, that and we used to role play around that. We made a whole story I about it. I want to eat myself, bridge. <laughs> you want to eat yourself? <laughs> uh, it would be a good series. I think it would be good. I mean, that those were the days when Simon was a furry. I was talking to um, Becca about it, and we were like. Oh my god, Simon was a furry. <laughs> Simon was a furry back in those days. So that's definitely something we could roast. <laughs> we should bring Becky on as well. <laughs> if she wants. Oh. But anyway, to return to the subject, I'll probably put that whole conversation at the end. Yes. Um, Rabbit hole of anime and K-pop. Oh, you know what? Barring that brilliant series that I just mentioned, I need to bring you on so you can educate me about K-pop because I'm not very educated in it. I'm sure. <laughs> what is your eyesight actually? <laughs> my my eyesight's really bad. Have you have I not given you my glasses to try on? I feel like I've done that to everybody. No. My eyesight is like minus eight, I think. <sighs> I'm like legally blind without my glasses. I need to look up what legally blind is, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm legally blind because my eyesight is terrible. Are you looking it up? Maybe. <laughs> you are looking it up. <laughs> what is what legally blind? Um, I'd need to go and get them, but my so I've got astigmatism uh, well, in both stupid. my eyes. What? To be considered legally blind, your visual thingy must be twenty two hundred or worse in your better eye world that you are wearing corrected lenses. Okay, it's not twenty two hundred. I don't know. I'm on Google. I don't know what that number means. I don't know. <laughs> and we both wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should do a quiz later. Am I legally blind? Like a BuzzFeed quiz and they just show us like some tomatoes. <laughs> BuzzFeed quizzes are the worst. Maybe just you just make I me laugh be... because I'm useless. Uh, yeah, that, I mean... <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. It's your words. <laughs> I remember once I'd had a little bit too much to drink and... Uh... I was crying to one of my friends about how useless I was. Aww. <laughs> so you can laugh, it's fine. I mean, my main one is private. I can't pay you for labour, so... Oh, but <laughs> you're not going to pay me. <laughs> I don't make any money. <laughs> There's nothing to pay you with. <laughs> I'm demonetized. <laughs> yes, you shady cunt. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> if anyone was wondering, Faye, why are you friends with this child? This is why. <laughs> Technically, I'm a legal adult now. Mm -mm. Only just. I'm 19! <laughs> I know, only just. <laughs> You're still technically a teenager. <laughs> and I will continue to act like one. I mean, yeah. I've been hanging around with all you Zoomers for such a long time as an educator that it's hard for me not to behave like a teenager. Zoom <laughs> you are Zoomers. Also, I learned I'm that I'm- Gen I'm Gen Z, you boomer. Uh, I'm actually on the borderline of millennial and Zoomer. So they can't decide where to place me. A lot of like diagrams will either put me in millennial or they'll put me in Gen Z. So I'm I'm a mix. I'm a hybrid, half cast. Hy <laughs> Should I make you some like Excel spreadsheet chart? Yes, please. <gasps> Can I? I? I would I would love to showcase your Excel spreadsheet charts. 
I've, I've already established that I'm a purebred Bangladeshi because I took a DNA test and it came out 100%. And then I realized I'm dumb because my parents are cousins, so of course I'm 100% Bangladeshi. <laughs> Any other things that can fuck with my brain, go for it. <laughs> we try to go down one road and then there's about 20 tangents. There's like 40 fork roads. Um, and just one roundabout in the middle for no reason. Um, but Imagine yeah, fun um, and just being set done with us. I'm sure you're... Uh, public um instagram is blake choreography right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and um i don't know if you want anyone following you on your your private one probably not no no okay we'll we'll, we'll show the blake one <laughs> but, or you could do that for the when i educate you yes 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 i agree and i um they exist good do you also have a TikTok you that you want to shill? I don't. I don't post on TikTok. I just follow and like. See, like see, I, I see you. Like so many people are saying, like the moment you get a fate, if you may make a TikTok, I will stop respecting you. And um, it's just like, wait, oh, no, you're I did make one me... TikTok. Huh? I made one TikTok. You made one TikTok. What is it? A dancing one? No. Oh no! What is it? <laughs> She's like in the middle I... of deleting it right now. <laughs> I'll send you the link actually. Okay, I won't show it off to preserve your. No, you can't, it's Caitlin Bennett. <laughs> what did you do with Caitlin Bennett? Isn't she the gun girl? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stop this video because I have maybe an hour of footage between <laughs> the two. Um, but thank you for coming on. Thank you for telling us about Heli Love. It's very insightful and I'm was, gonna go through our whole playlist right now. It was and, brilliant uh, seeing you and I will next time educate you on yes. K-pop. This, this, this is a series just called Vicky Educates Us. <laughs> <laughs> Educate no, no 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 you know how they have like um educating Yorkshire educating educating Faye <laughs> that's what we're we'll called <laughs> <laughs> I checked up my water <laughs> did it I did it uh <laughs> of you who aren't in the UK and I know there's a significant amount of you that aren't we have a series um, on British television where it's just people educating kids from different parts of the UK it's hysterical yeah. it's, just it's so it. stupid it's so stupid but I'm going to turn off my main camera because she's, gonna, she's about to die